everybody welcome back to another vlog i thought for today's vlog i would do a little bit of like a day in my life like a work day in my life i see a lot of people do these and i thought it might be fun to try it out i've sort of done it in the past and then i've like either only filmed half a day or just haven't been able to like keep up with it so it is currently 9 45 a.m as you will have seen i got up this morning did my usual morning routine and now i'm just sitting down to do like morning emails um answer any questions that i may get from like brands or management or whatever i'm uploading a video that i actually should have already had scheduled days ago but i've just no one wants to hear about it <laughs> um i've been talking about being in a little bit of a slump a little bit of a depression for too long and i just like i don't want to make that my personal brand at the moment but yeah your girl's been struggling a little bit and i've been dropping the ball totally honest with you so today i am going to just like have a full work day, film lots of content, get a lot of stuff done, and I know it'll make me feel better. So anyways, I'm uploading a video that is quite literally going live in 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm just finalizing some of the links that I need to get. Some of the links, it's like hard when you're doing affiliate linking because some brands are only available on some platforms. So you kind of have to go back and forth and one of them is only on mobile. So then I have to like copy the link email it to myself that type of thing so anyway i am doing that at the moment i have a call at 10 o'clock so in about literally 10 15 minutes um with my youtube partner manager that's a like sort of i guess when you reach a certain milestone on youtube or something like that um you can have contact with a person who works at youtube that helps you with like strategy and just like back end stuff it's really nice and then i've got like filming to do today i've got to leave the house and do some returns i've got to shop in person for a branded video. I've got quite a bit to do today. Pretty normal work day in my life though, so I thought I would take you along with me and show you the things where I'm always like, yesterday I did work stuff. Like those are the days that I don't really film. Um, so I thought it might be interesting to film it. I see lots of other people film these videos and I always find them fascinating because there's just such a variety of like self-employed creators on the internet. Some people are like completely solo run channels like myself. I also have an editor who edits one video a week for me, but like some people have like a full blown team and staff. And I just think it's so cool and so interesting to see how people do it so this is how i do it so anyways okay first things first i gotta do these links i gotta answer some emails and then we gotta hop on this call so let's do it all right first things first i'm gonna go to the ltk app which is it used to be called like to know it i think and it's an affiliate marketing platform so it just helps me be able to have like an organized place to put a bunch of links and then also it helps with giving me a percentage of commission it's a pretty small percentage but it's nice to have from time to time so i need to get links to two different pairs of jeans so i'm gonna do that first all right just kidding those these are not affiliate link available like they're not on the platforms that i use so that's fine so we're gonna just just include those regular links so this is ready to go now i need to fill out the tags for my video which aren't as important anymore but there's just a lot of stuff to fill in when you're uploading a video different links to products different keywords your thumbnail tags you have to make sure you add certain things if you reference anything in the video try to make sure to remember to link that in the description you know things like that and now also there are sections where you have to like say whether or not it's made for kids whether or not it includes a paid promotion and now also it says whether or not there's altered content so it's interesting with like ai and stuff and like deep fakes you have to select something that says does any of the following describe your content. Either makes a real person appear to say something they didn't say or do, alters footage of a real event or place, or generates a realistic looking scene that didn't actually occur. That's crazy. So you have to select no for that, like in order to upload. Or I mean, yes, if it's fake, I suppose. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna do these tags really quick and then answer a couple emails and then it's time to hop on this call. Okay, just kidding. Um, I thought I had a meeting at 10 o'clock, but I just went to double check and I don't have a link to a meeting or anything like that. So I'm just gonna assume that it's not happening. I reached out and was like, hey, cause it's like a quarterly thing, like I said. So anyways, moving on. Um, yes, I tried to fix this chair. It is squeaking and I think I might need to get rid of it. I am losing my mind with this freaking chair. But now my video is live. So I'm gonna go ahead and post a little thing on Instagram and let everyone know you know for the people who don't keep up with youtube that i got a video that just went up so i usually just like screenshot a little clip of like the video or the thumbnail so i'll like take the little clip of the thumbnail like a little screenshot and then i'll crop it then i will copy the link to that 
sorry taylor nation just posted something and i'm like what what is this this is cryptic i'm not smart enough to understand this i'm gonna let the smart swifties decode this oh my god we haven't even talked about tortured poets yet that's gonna be later all right so i have a few little um like backgrounds saved on my phone from pinterest so i usually just grab one of those and then put the thumbnail on top of that if it makes sense so there we go i just upload like a little um background and then i'll go into the little icons and i will add a photo and then i'll just tap on my most recent one my little thumbnail and then i'll just type a little something like new video check it out with the link then i'll just add the link to the story i'll make sure that it's the right link because sometimes i've added like a target link i was just shopping for or whatever and there we have it just like a nice little just cute little thing that's like hey watch my video okay so that's done next thing on the list is a bunch of filming so i have a video that i filmed last week um I just was lacking on vlogging, but I went to the Goodwill bins with Alexa, so that'll be fun. That'll be up this weekend, and I've got to film a haul of the stuff that I got. So I filmed like the entire thrifting portion, but I now need to film the haul portion and like the try-ons, so I'm gonna do that. I also have a branded video to film today, and I think I'm gonna include that, weave that into a closet clean-out, so I'm pretty sure I will be doing a full closet clean out today, which is gonna be ruthless. The last one I was like way too gentle and this time I need to get rid of stuff. And that's what we're gonna do for the next like two hours. So we better get started. I better get up off my ass. This is honestly a good thing because I was thinking like this is a really bad day to have an hour long meeting. So now I have an extra hour to do stuff. So I'm gonna do it. All right, it's about an hour later. I'm gonna make myself a little snack, my little second breakfast as I like to call it. So I'm gonna do like a yogurt parfait, maybe some eggs, not sure on that yet. And then definitely a coffee. I'm trying to decide if I want like a vanilla yogurt or if I just wanna do like a maple. I'm gonna do maple. And since I am gonna be doing lots of filming, I will also have some eggs. I wish I had orange juice, that makes me sad. Here's my breakfast. I have eggs with a lot of tapatio because I love it. I have a little parfait thingy and then I have my almond milk latte. Delish. It's much later now. It's like, I don't know, quarter to 12, something like that. I am a little bit behind schedule now because when I was eating my breakfast, my second breakfast, I don't know what you call it. I was watching another Tortured Poets Department reaction video. I watched so many of them from like my favorite Swifty creators and like, I just can't look away. I like cry watching them sometimes. Like it's just so fun watching other people that like love the same things you do as much. Um, it's just like so exciting. I love girlhood and I love being a Swifty. Anyway, I am repositioning and sitting on the floor now because I'm finally going to, I filmed all of the like try on bits, but now I need to film the little haul for this video. And then I need to change, redo myself for another video and film an entire closet clean out. So, okay. All right, it's a little while later. Got myself re-ready, redid my hair. I am doing a quick little review of one of the briefs of the branded video that I'm gonna film next. I just wanna make sure that I'm like doing everything correctly, although I'm just now realizing I don't have the brief yet. In the meantime, yeah, I'm just doing a little regroup before resetting. You know, I put out the new battery, swapped it out on the charger for the other one. I always have two camera batteries just in case one dies. And then now we're gonna get started and film a whole other video. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big one. All right, it's lunchtime. I just finished up heating up some leftovers from last night. I feel like I'm only gonna have like half of this because this is a lot. We made taco bowls for dinner last night, so I'm having the other half for lunch today. I definitely, it's, it's definitely hot. I am a monster and I put 
ranch on my taco bowls. I don't actually like ranch that much. I'm not really a ranch girl, but it's just so good. So there's like uh, fajita peppers and onions in here, black beans, roasted corn, ground turkey, taco seasoning. And then I'm gonna do some Mexican style cheese. I would prefer cojita cheese, but we don't have any. Did you end up using this lettuce? It's not looking that good. I was gonna throw some lettuce on there, but it's looking kind of sad. So we'll, we'll uh, hold off on that. I do like, I don't know, a teaspoon of ranch, but it just makes it so good. And like, I don't dip things into ranch really unless it's like buffalo wings, but man, that just really hits. And then we'll do some La Victoria green salt. And then we'll do some tortilla strips. And that's lunch. Gotta have the crunch. So normally this would be like much prettier with the lettuce in it, but that lettuce was disgusting. So there we go. I'm still in my slippers. I'm taking a break from my filming. I'm of course gonna grab a Diet Coke. Duh. That's my beverage of choice, okay? So okay, I'm gonna put these cold things away. We're gonna enjoy some lunch, watch some of the tortured poets' reactions. We're like halfway through the day, so I'm feeling good about it, but I need some energy from this. All right, lunch is done. And um, now we're moving on to finally film this freaking video. Usually there isn't so much of like a breakup in between things. Like I usually just like film a video and then I like film the other one, but there's just been like little things that I've needed to do today. So this is the last thing that I will be filming for the day. The lighting is actually amazing right now. So I'm happy for that, but this is definitely gonna be very time consuming. So pray for me. <laughs> Okay, it is now 3.30 p.m. I am headed out. I have to go buy a couple things for a brand deal like I mentioned, and then I have to return some packages, which I don't really do that often, but I didn't time it very well this time. This is all of the pairs of jeans that I tried on for my elastic waist jeans video that just went up today when I'm filming this, but I think it was like a couple days ago when you're seeing this. And sadly, I am returning all of those pairs because they just didn't end up working out. I would say for the things that I order for videos, I probably keep 3% of that. So I'm not collecting a bunch of this stuff, but yeah, it's just kind of one of the annoying things. And sometimes you just have to return a lot of stuff close together, which is annoying. But anyways, I'm going to fill up my water and then head out on these errands. I'm probably going to be gone for a couple of hours, but then we're at the finish line. Then we did it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. You guys, I, <laughs> I, yeah, 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 yeah. I have had, I've just had one of those days where I'm like, LA puts you through the ringer sometimes. I just tried to go to the UPS store, FedEx, and the post office. And I had to park, first of all, parking in that area is street parking only. It's extremely busy. There's lots of like schools in the area that just left out. So it was like, or let out. So it was just really chaotic. And so I parked and I had to walk like half a mile to the post office. Um, so I went to the post office first and it was closed. So that was fun. I don't know why it says it closed at six and I was there at like three. And then um, went to the post or the UPS store and then left the UPS store, had to walk the pretty much half a mile back to my car and then drove to FedEx across town. Um, and I was going to drop off my returns at FedEx and they do this thing called happy returns or whatever. And so I got in line, stood in line, got to the front of the line and I was like, hi, I just have a return. And she was like, oh, is it for happy returns? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, we don't do that here anymore as of like this week, we do it at the UPS store. And I was like, <laughs> obviously I was just like, okay, yeah. So that was annoying and I'm not going through all of that again. So uh, I swung and I missed twice, but I did drop off two packages. So I guess that's something. I don't know why the post office was closed. That was very weird. It was like fully like, doors locked, the like cage was brought down. I don't know. Like I couldn't have had worse luck just then, but it's all right. Okay, update. <laughs> it's an hour later and I am an idiot. It's fine. No, I'm not an idiot. I just, I have ADHD. It's harder for me to remember stuff. I need to be nice to myself about that, but um, I just am like really, the busier I get, the more scatterbrained I become. I start letting things slip through the cracks. I start, start dropping the ball. I think I mentioned that at the beginning of this video. When I'm like depressed or if I'm just frazzled, um, like I was today, I was just, ugh. 
today was not a good brain day for ADHD, but that's okay. Um, but I, after all that, I finally got to the store that I needed to go to. I got to the mall and I forgot the gift cards that I needed, that I was given to purchase the product. Um, so I had to pay for it with my own money, which is fine. I'm sure there's a possibility that I could like return the product and then like rebuy it again on the gift card. I think you're allowed to do that. I'm actually not sure of it anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head home. <laughs> it's just after five o'clock. I'm gonna cook dinner with Drew and then see you later. Goodbye. It is so much later. It's like 10 p.m. The Drew and I is over. Bye. Curtains are closing. Drew and I have the zooms, but um, I forgot to end this vlog. I just, I needed to go nonverbal. When I got home, I needed to be my um, iPad kid version of myself and just scroll and not think about anything. I don't even know. I'm smudging, it's fine. But um, yeah, I just wanted to end off this vlog with a little tortured poets department chat because I realized I never made updates on that. Sorry if you can hear my fan in the background. It's my emotional support blanket. Like it needs to be on when I'm in here. But anyway, um, yeah, I can't even, it's been like almost a week since the album came out. So I, I can't, I'm trying to remember what my, my first thoughts were just, I was gobsmacked. It was not, what I was expecting it to be about at all. Um, and that's not obviously what her albums are about. It's not like about who they're about. It's about her experience and her pain and everything that she goes through in her art and how she processes things. Um, it's brilliant. I feel like the back half of the anthology, first of all, I was laying in bed and I, I knew it was something. And I saw all these people on TikTok being like, it's not a double album. You guys are crazy. And I was just thinking like, how could she top the midnight's 3 a.m. thing? Like all the twos. If you're not a Swifty, I'm so sorry. This is all like very cryptic, but it's just um, Easter eggs, clues and things that she has given us over the months, like leading up to Tortured Poets. And anyways, um, I was just listening and it took me actually because when i listened the first time the youtube like lyric videos weren't up yet so i was literally just listening um i don't even think the lyrics were on spotify yet and the genius lyrics are like never that accurate when an album first comes out so i was listening to it and i missed a lot of things like i missed a lot of things so it took me until about like track six it took me until about daddy i love him to realize what direction this album was taking and then more and more as the songs went on I was like wait a minute wait a minute who is this album about um and there were just so many great moments so many amazing lines so many like seething scathing lyrics that were just like wow and so many things that I could really relate to you know if you've ever been in a situation where you've ended a long-term relationship or just ended a relationship in general and then gotten pretty much immediately into like a very toxic rebound situation and then that situation ended up breaking your heart like 10,000 times worse um we I think a lot of us have been there and it it cuts so deep so it's like I get it um, not a fan of the ratty, the ratty Healy. Used to be a huge fan, but yikes. So anyway, um, that was kind of like, oh, but there were just some things. <laughs> I just want to be like, girl, get up. You're going to be okay. There are so many songs on the album that are favorites. And I would say like the back half like of the anthology is the one that I'm still fathoming a little bit. And I'm still trying to listen to more and get into because it's very evermore and like... I enjoy it, but it's just gonna take some more time to get into. But I would say my favorites at the moment are, but Daddy I Love Him is such a banger. Um, I like the Tortured Poets Department. I like Fortnite. I love the Black Dog and I'm Gonna Get You Back. Those are both so good. So Long London, I mean, it's just an incredible track five in my opinion. Um, Guilty of Sin slaps. I need to look. There's 31 songs to choose from. Like, there are just so many good ones. Oh, Who's Afraid of Little O' Me? Obviously. Florida, just simply for the chorus. I'm obsessed with it. The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived is... 
she had bars in that one. Bars. I can do it with a broken heart is probably Drew my favorite. Like when that chorus comes on, we are bopping. We're shaking our titties. Chloe or Sam or Sophia or Marcus is so beautiful. I'm starting to fathom how did it end and I like it a lot. I like Thank You Amy. The manuscript is beautiful. So High School was really cute. So yeah, there's there's a lot. Clara Bow. I mean, um, but yeah, I thought I would give you some very, very off the top of my head thoughts about this. I would say like, because I've been, I've literally been a Swifty since Fearless came out. Like when Fearless was released, it was such a big deal for me. And um, ever since it's been like such a huge part of my life. And so I just have like my own way of listening and so it's just like deeply personal for me like when an album comes out i need to listen to it like in complete silence i need to be in the dark i need to be in my bed and i need to be like processing everything i'm hearing to my best ability and i feel like for probably i don't know like a month after the album comes out i just have to absorb it and i have to really like let it sink in and i have to really fathom a lot of the lyrics and just sort of put like puzzle pieces together and stuff but yeah, this album is great. It always just takes me a while. I can't decide how I would rank it yet because it just takes me a while to like let it let it set in, let it seep into my bones. You know what I mean? Yeah, really enjoyed it. Can't wait to keep listening to it. So I just thought I would end this vlog with a little chat about it. Um, there's probably so many things I forgot to say because again, it's been days. But there were many moments during the first listen of the album that I was just like, I was just laying here in bed. Like... I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.